Welcome back to another episode of Ethereal Enigma. I'm Javelin and you're watching Javelin Studios. Uh, last time we took we played soccer with Kosei and after that we tried to take a shortcut through the shrine because it's getting late because we want to hurry back home and we met this old lady who convinced us to make a wish and then we just simply wish for a princess to fall out of the sky and a princess did fall off from the sky her name is Arena and now she's living with us that's about it and let's, without further ado let's continue and see where this all leads to a sharp knock on my door jerks me out of sleep uh, there's a pause before another flurry of knocks erupt what time is it? Who could, who's being so loud this early in the morning? I flip out my blankets and head for the door. It must be Mina. She's always waking me up. Although, she doesn't normally knock and will just barge right in. At least she's finally learned how to be civilized. When I pull open the door, Erlyn stands face to face with me. Her head is held high as she looks at me, her arms crossed. Finally. What are you doing? Don't you know what time it is? Yes. It's 8 a.m., which is preposterously late. I crane my neck and confirm with my clock. Oh crap! I've got to get ready for school! I'm about to shut the door on her when she stops me. Wait! I have something important to ask you. What is it? Where is my breakfast? Uh. So I'm still not. Well, it's. Well, it's still in early. This game is still in early access, so with all things going, like we will meet people with different sort of personality, I guess. So we have to choose the more appropriate like option to like raise the intim intimacy level with them so uh, so I'll just choose the first one because it's like the most polite way or the more appropriate way out of the three which is always the first option normally Anne Miko and Uncle Hajime leave us something in the kitchen before they head to the bakery did they run out of time today? Did you check the kitchen? Erlene stares blankly. Why would I do that? That's where breakfast is normally kept. She continues to stare, then laughs. <laughs> Who knew commoners were so funny? Breakfast is ready for you in your bedroom, of course. This is going to take some getting used to. I don't have time to explain right now. Hold on, let me get ready and we can go get breakfast. Erlyn grudgingly agrees and allows me, and allows me to close the door for privacy. I get ready in a hurry before meeting her by the stairs. Together we head downstairs, and I lead her to the kitchen. Into the kitchen. Sitting on the table are a stack of Aunt Amigos tamago sando. I turn to Erlyn, pointing at the sandwiches. Breakfast is served. She side eyes it suspiciously. What is it? There are egg salad sandwiches with ham and lettuce. I grab one and bite into it. The bread is soft and fluffy and pairs perfectly with the savory egg and salty ham. Try one, they're good. Erlyn doesn't move. Maybe this is good enough for your kind of people, but it certainly isn't food fit for a princess. Don't you have a dish that's more refined? I take a too big, exaggerated bite out of the sandwich. Erlyn wrinkles her nose. Nope, my kind of people only have this sort of unrefined food. I don't think this will sit well with me. Her stomach rumbling begs to differ. Erlene freezes, then resumes her haughty expression. But I suppose I can make an exception just this once. She reaches for a sandwich and takes a dainty needle. Her eyes grow white as she takes another larger bite. How is it? Erlene looks away from me and back down at the sandwich. For some reason, her cheeks are red. I 
wouldn't normally choose it, but I don't really have a choice now, do I? She takes another bite. This one even bigger than the last. Mmm. Clearly she likes it. I'll choose the third one. Erling tries to hide how much she likes the sandwich. But it's obvious she's enjoying it. She's already finished half of it in just a few minutes. And yet, you're almost done with it. Erling glances down at her hands and seems surprised by how much of the sandwich is left. Her blush deepens. I was just hungry. Uh huh. Mina enters the kitchen just as we're finishing up. She's already dressed in her uniform and just as energetic as ever. As soon as she, as she, eh, as soon as she, she sees me, she skids to a stop. Do my eyes deceive me? For once, is my cousin ready for school before I am? I can be self-sufficient too when I want to be. Mina raises a brow. I bet Alan will kill this morning, didn't she? How does she know? Mina glances over at Erlin and frowns. Erlin, you should change into your uniform. We'll have to go soon if you don't want to be late for school. Whoops, I forgot to, I told everyone Erlin is an international student, which means she would theoretically be going to school with us. Erlin's brows meet in confusion. She looks like she's about to retort, but I can't let her blurt out something contradictory. I have to think about something fast. Uh, actually, there was an issue with her uh, transfer paperwork. She'll be at school later today after all that's fixed. In the meantime, she'll stay here, right, Erlin? I stare hard at her. She meets my gaze, and then not. Okay, do you need any help? She's fine, we need to get going before we're late. Arisha Mina towards the door. Okay, okay, jeez. When did you start caring so much about school? I still feel the same way, but I know you'll hate being late. I'm doing this for you. The sarcasm drips off her voice. Regardless, I get Mina out of the door. Just before I leave, I turn back to Erlin. Don't leave the house. We'll figure something out when I'm back from school. She crosses arms, but, not, but nods. I catch up with Mina and we walk in silence for a bit. I don't know what to do about Erlin. I got to find a way to get her back to her home, wherever that is. And how did she even end up here? It couldn't really have been my wish, could it? No, I made my wishes at the shrine every year and nothing like this has ever happened before. It has to do with that old woman. My first step is to find her and get her to explain all of this. I'm so caught up in my thoughts that I don't notice Minna siddle up to me until she's right next to me. So, what's the deal with you and this homestay program? Huh? You never seemed interested in it before. Why did you and your dad decide to sign up for this? Uh. So I could live with a girl. Well, normally they would assign guys to a gu to a guy's house and a girl to a girl's house. most logical one, I think I'll choose the first one. I thought it'd be cool to meet someone from another culture. It's interesting to learn what foreigners think of Japan and compare differences and similarities. Mina looks impressed. I didn't know you were so worldly, cuz. I didn't either. Still, it's a little strange that your parents didn't tell my parents, you know? You know how forgetful they can be? They're traveling so much that it's hard for them to keep straight what they did and didn't discuss. I guess, but this is kind of a big deal, don't you think? There's no point on dwelling on it now. You guys aren't upset, aren't you? Are you? Eh, you guys aren't upset, are you? Mina shakes her head. Of course not. It's your home too. Honestly, I'm actually really excited to get to know Erlen. It's gonna be really cool having another girl in the house. And you know how mom and dad are. They're probably happy to have another taste tester for dad's experimental bread flavors. Yeah, he comes up with some really strange combinations sometimes. Mina laughs. I think the word you're looking for is creative. 
Shokugeki reference? I don't know. A green back at her. I'm really thankful to have such an understanding family. And I don't want to burden them any more than I already have. It's important that I find out how to send Erlin back home. Realizing the time, Mia and I pick up, pick up the pace. There are still a lot of students milling about. Milling about when we enter the courtyard. Many are chatting with their friends or finishing up any homework they didn't do. I don't spot Kosei anywhere though. There's an equally good chance that he's either already in the classroom or even later than we are. Mina and I st head up the front stairs, uh, the front steps, and open the heavy door, entering the school. The hallways are emptier than I expected. It's a much nicer place that uh, it's a nice. It's a much nicer pace than yesterday, and we soon reach the end of the hall. We arrive in class before the instructor. Kosei is already in his seat and waves us over. Hey guys! What's with the slow start today? I had to go on ahead without you. For once, it wasn't me who was the holder. Mina scoffs. I was only later than you because I wasted time looking for you. Who would have guessed you'd already be downstairs? So you're saying that it's a bad thing I was up on time? No, you should be able to wake up on your own. So then you are admitting that it's your fault that we are late. No, it's still your fault. You can't have it both ways. I should go say an, an ex exasperated look. He shrugs. Misato enters the classroom, quieting everyone with a greeting. She instructs us to open our textbooks and begin the mo and begins the morning lesson. About halfway through the lesson, the classroom door cracks open. The instructor pauses while a new student walks in. She hands me Stato a letter. Although she's dressed in our school uniform, I distinctly recognize that pale blonde hair. My heart drops into my stomach like a lead weight when Erlene turns to face the room. What is she doing here? Everyone, we have a new transfer student joining our class. She waits for Erlene to introduce herself. Instead, she just looks confused at the teacher. Oops, sorry. Why don't you say a few words of introduction? Erlene looks like she's trying to remember something, then shrugs. Lifting her head high, she throws her hands on her hips. Oh no. This looks familiar. My eyes widen in horror. I feel as I if I feel as if I'm watching a car wreck about to happen with no way to stop it. I am Princess Erilyn Dawn, Duchess of Velenor, third heiress of Velden. The class is stunned into silence. Feeling Mina's questioning gaze on me, I slink into my seat, hoping to disappear from sight. Finally, we settle last. Oh, it appears we have a drama student. How very fun! The class begins, breaks into giggles, and everyone relaxes after that comment. Please take a seat so we can resume the lessons. There's an open one towards the back of the room. She points to the seat beside me. Without hesitation, Ezreline crosses the room and sits down. What happened to being Erlin, the international student from Sweden? She shrugs. These commoner titles are all so trivial. I couldn't care to remember what it was. Or were you just unable to remember? She scoffs. As if that would happen. With a sigh, I decide not to push the issue. It can't get any worse after that introduction anyway. I thought I told you to stay in the house. What are you doing here? I tried to stay in the house. It wasn't my fault. Before she can say more, Misato clears her throat. I'm sure we'd all like to welcome Miss Dawn, but class is in session. We both fall silent. I count down the minutes until lunch, my mind burning with questions, as Misato continues the class. As soon as the lunch break begins, I pull Erilyn aside. Why are you out of the house? As I already told you, the fault is not with me. I went back into the kitchen to get more of those sand- She clears her throat. <clears> throat> something more to eat. 
and your uncle saw me in there. He kept insisting that I was supposed to be in school, even though I told him otherwise. He said something about helping me with my paperwork and then walked me to the school. Do you not have automotive transportation? Mm. Let's choose the second one. There's no need to drive and you can walk instead. Exercise is good for the body. Eating sandwiches and sitting all day is how you get fat. She narrows her eyes. What are you implying? This is reaching dangerous territory. Absolutely nothing. Ah, uh, absolutely nothing. But going back to the original point. I was getting to it. Your uncle talked to the school and they figured out my transfer and then forced me to dress up in these horrible clothes before sending me here. She fidgets with her outfit. I can't help but notice the way her shirt clings to her and how the few secured buttons strain to remain close. <laughs> Legs calm her down and uh Okay. Those buttons look like they're just one deep breath away from being undone. A mischievous smile spreads across my face. It's okay, Erlyn. No need to be upset. Just breathe. Take a deep breath and let it out. Breathing isn't going to make these clothes any better. Oh well, it was worth a try. Well, it seems you're stuck coming to this school after all. Mina scoots over to us. Erlyn, you're here. I thought you weren't coming in until later. Erlyn looks over to me. Uh, I guess everything was sorted faster than anticipated. Mina raises a brow. If she just had to finish up some paperwork, we could have taken her to the administrative office this morning. I didn't think she'd be coming to school at all this morning. It doesn't matter anymore. She's here now. Mina nods, then flashes early in a smile. Next time you need help with something, you can come to me. If you wait on this guy... She jabs a thumb in my direction. To figure things out, you'll be waiting forever. And it'll still end up being a complicated mess. Erlyn giggles. <laughs> yes, I can already see that. She shoots me an unimpressed look, then stands to her feet, looking back at Mina with another smile. In that case, would you be so kind as to tell me where the restroom is? Mina perks up. Of course! It'll be easier if I show you. Come with me! Thank you. Mina grins back and the two of them head out. As I lean back in my chair and wonder about the situation, Kose slides into the newly vacant seat. You and that new girl were talking for a long time. His tone is almost accusatory. I'm surprised he didn't jump in earlier. But I'm sure it's because he was too busy scoping and ease scooping and eavesdropping first. A long, long time. Come on bro. I'm just talking to a girl. Well, a transfer student. Come on. I smirk. Are you jealous? Me? Jealous? Of course not. Clearly she's only talking to you because you two sit next to each other. I bet if she had sat next to me then it would have played differently. I mean, who could resist all of this? He's right about us sitting together next to each other, but I'm not sure about the second one. He's, he slicks back his hair, wearing an impish green. I laugh. Whatever you say, bro. Hey. Startled, I glance behind me and see Kira hovering nearby. Close his eyes widen like saucers. Hi. Hey, Kira! She glances at Kosei. Oh, hello. Then she turns back to me. Are you free after school today? Yeah, I think so. What's up? I was hoping we could meet in the courtyard to talk. So I've gone through, I've gone through a f uh, some, like a few runs, and not to say that. Well, it's still, as I said, it's still in early access. But for a person like Kira, I still haven't figured uh, how you should 
choose your option for Erilyn or maybe Mina, even Mina and Kosei to get like in a good relationship with them. But for Kira, I know that if you are choosing options for Kira, you must choose the option where you have to be nice to her. And I don't like it's just it's just it's just a good way to like it's a good way to improve your relationship with her just be nice to Kira that's all I know the rest I'm still figuring it out I'm not that sure about it so for this uh, So for this I don't I'm not quite sure so we just choose the second one if she wants to talk probably uh if it's not important they can she can talk directly I don't know why she wants to talk but I'm not questioning it if Kira wants to talk to me then I'm totally that I am totally available Sure we can we could meet then but I got time I eh? But I've got time now too. Why put off until later? What we can do now? Kira's gaze slides over to Kose and then slides back to me. We don't have enough privacy right now. I'll meet you in the courtyard after school. Okay. She wants to talk to me in private? My heart begins to race in anticipation and I can't stop the green from spreading across my face. Okay, that's not the kind of reaction or the option that I thought I'm going for I kind of forgot but okay all right I'll be there as soon as she done she's done speaking she leaves and exit the classroom Kira is really Kira really is a girl of few words Kosei slumps heart into his seat are you kidding me right now Erolyn and now Kira too she doesn't even sit next to you Kose is not the only one who's noticed. I feel the eyes of my classmates on me too. Uh, sorry. The shimmer of whisper slowly begins. They must be wondering the same thing as Kose. Well, Alex. Let's get back at Kose after what he said. I agree. Maybe you should have given them a little bit more of that. Mimicking his earlier movement, I slick my hands through my hair. Kose frowns. I gave them all of that and they still didn't bite. I think I know what you were doing wrong. What? You're on me. Oh! <laughs> oh, that burned though. This is it. I'm dead. Yeah, he flops onto the floor, and dead, and died. Kosei, get up dude! You're embarrassing both of us! Nope, can't. Too dead. This is my life now. I don't notice the girl's return until Mina calmly steps over Kosei. Is Kosei having a crisis again? It seems like it. Why is the world so cruel? How come my best friend gets all the girls and I can't even get one? Following Mina's lead, Erlyn Daintly Daintily hops over him. Being ignored a second time seems to spur something within him. His eyes widen. Wait a minute. I, the best friend, and he's the MC? Well, based on this game, yeah. Kose glances over to me, then laughs. What am I thinking? Of course not. How could I be relegated to the comic relief? I think you are. No, I won't take this lying down. There's a new fire in his eyes, and he peels himself off from the off the ground. I. Kosei Nakahara, I'm the MC of this story! You hear that, world? Just then, the instructor enters the room. You hear what, Mr. Nakahara? Nothing. Kosei and the rest of us take our seats. I'm glad he was able to work through whatever that was. He looks even more determined than ever. The instructor begins to write on the blackboard. I hope you all enjoyed your break. Now we'll begin our next lesson.
finally, classes are finished and school is over for the day. I quickly pack up my things and get ready to head out. Well, uh, I think it's about 20 something minutes of the recording, I guess. Well, I'll just continue, since I think it's a short one. I'm about to tell Erlin about my meeting with about my meeting when Mina comes up to me. Hey, wait up! Aren't we all walking home together? Sorry, I've got to meet somebody. You and Erlin can head can head home together. Oh, okay. Who are you meeting? Kira. Mina looks more surprised than necessary. Really? How did that happen? It's a long story. Kosei will tell you all about it. I'll meet you at home. She turns to Kosei. What's he talking about? Kosei sighs deeply. Don't even get me started. I've got to get to work. While Mina goes to get Evelyn, I take the opportunity to slip out and head outside. Kira waits for me in the courtyard in front of the school. She looks over and nods when I approach. I nod back, but begin to feel uneasy under her stare. Maybe we should get this over with. What is it you want to talk? What is it that you wanted to talk about? She takes a deep breath. At the shrine, I saw everything. Everything from what point to what point? Uh, no, either the, it's either the first or the third. I'll I'll try to deny. I wonder what she actually saw. What do you mean by everything? She hesitates, finding her words. I saw Erlen drop out of the sky and land on you. Oh well, that about sums it up, actually. Kira taps her chin in thought. What I can't figure out is that weird thing I saw in the sky. What weird thing? She shakes her head. I don't know. It had weird shapes and seemed to glow. I've never seen it before. And then a moment later, Erlen fell. Boom tube? Or a portal, perhaps? I think it back to last night. Did I notice anything in the sky? It was all so sudden. I wonder if that it's the ethereal energy the old woman was talking about. She thinks. What's ethereal energy? I have no idea. It was something the old lady mentioned. Did you see her? Kira looks at me blankly. She was kind of pushy ab about making a wish and said something about the ethereal energy and the uh, astral con continuum, uh, continuum alignment. Continuum, I think. Continuum, whatever. She shakes her head. None of that sounds familiar. I think she's evolved in this. That thing in the sky might be something she created. Or at least something she knows about. I need to go back to the shrine to find her. I wonder if I should ask Kira to join me. She's not really a part of this mess. And I don't want to involve her more than necessary. But a part of me is relieved that she knows. Would you be willing to go with me? Kira hesitated. Car uh, hesitates. I I'll need your help describing whatever was in the sky if you do find that find the old woman. Plus, since you were there last night, you might remember something I missed. After a moment, she nods. Truth be told, I'm glad for her help. It's easier to carry this secret between two people rather than just one. Let's go back to the shrine tomorrow afternoon and see if she's there. So back where if we choose not to return the money, we wouldn't even had the chance to interact with Kira up until this point. Maybe she'll just be another classmate which we rarely even talk to. Or something. Or someone. Whatever. Sure. We exchange numbers and finalize the details. Then Kira checks the time on her phone. I have to go now, but I'll meet you tomorrow. Sure. We say our goodbyes, and I begin the walk back home. When I walk through the door, I hear Erlin and Mina talking. I hope Erlin's not saying anything to blow her cover. Hustling, I kick off my shoes and hurry to the living room. Both girls sit on the couch. Erlin has a lock of hair in her hands, and Mina compares her own hair beside it. 
They glance at me as I step in. Oh, hi, cuz. Welcome back. Thanks. What are you two up to? I was just asking Erwin how she gets her hair so shiny. It's from the hair mask I use. Hair mask? Early nuts. That's right. The one I use is made out of egg yolks and a few drops of lemon juice. I let it sit in my hair for exactly 20 minutes before washing it out with cool water. Does that even work? I'm not sure if that actually works in real life. Well, if someone actually knows, you can comment below and tell me about it. I'm curious. Ina's eyes pop. Huh? That actually works? See for yourself. Evelyn smiles and runs her finger through her hair again. Mina stares, impressed. She wistfully strokes her own hair. Do you think that would work on mine? Absolutely. It would work on anyone's hair. She shifts. She shifts on the couch and touches one of Mina's short locks. Your natural hair is already very healthy and pretty. If we just give it a little touch up, we can get it to shine even more. I've never seen Mina get so excited about this girly stuff before. Her smile turns radiant. We should have a girls' night sometime, so you can show me how to do it! Erlin blinks. A girls' night? Yeah! After a moment, Erlin matches Mina's green. That could be fun. Still not sure if... Well, I'll choose the first one. The, the nicest option. I know... I know that the other options can come out like can come some funny dialogues or whatever references, but I don't want to risk uh, like hurting relationships or intimacy between anyone. I just have to I'll I'll try to be nice most of the time, and when it's necessary, I'll choose the others. It's nice to see Erlin and Mina getting closer. I'm sure Erlin appreciates being able to do something familiar in this world. Sounds like you guys are going to have a great time. Mina nods. Yep. Mina smiles at Erlin and tilts her head. Do you use any other beauty products? Oh yes, my skincare routine is essential. Erlin counts off on her fingers. I use a face mask at least three times a week. There's also cleanser, moisturizer, toner. Mina's eyes widen. That sounds so complicated. I had no idea there was so much to do. I just wash my face with soap. That's important too. What kind of soap? The same one I used to wash my body. Early chokes. What? You can't do that. Huh? Why? Because that's how you dry out your face. Body soap and face soap are completely different. Horror settles over Mina's face. Or perhaps you can use all in one, but that that all-in-one kind of soap, but I don't think that it actually works though. You still have to use like specific kind of uh, like com specific soaps for specific parts of your body. And when Erlin came here, since she's here, how how can she like? manage herself because all the products are back in the palace your majesty so I guess she's borrowing it from Aunt Amiko I guess it is of course it is body soap strips your skin of healthy oils and your face is so delicate and cute please change your habits now before it's too late my face is cute you know just touches her face looking surprised very much so Touch of pink colors Mina's cheeks as she greens from ear to ear. That's so nice of you, Erlin. I'm only stating the truth. Luckily, I'm here now to teach you everything I know. I feel a little bit like I'm intruding, intruding on the moment. Maybe I should leave you to it. Both of them glance at me as if remembering I'm still here. Oh, we're not going to do any of that right now. We're saving it for girls' night. Erlin nods. Mina shifts face. Me. Uh, Mina shifts to face me. In fact, now that you're home, we should visit Kosi at his new job. Well, for this, hmm, 
like I kind of for this option I kind of have something planned out if the full release came, for the full release so uh, for the full release and in later on in the story so for this run I'll just I'll just have to say I'll just have to tease her a bit I like teasing pe my cousin uh, don't get this the wrong idea don't get the wrong idea guys a smirk tugs at my mouth why do you miss him that much Mina blinks what? You, we were with him at school, and now you want to see him again. So what if I want to see him again? We're friends. I don't know, Mina. I think I sense love blooming. She arches an eyebrow. Are you sure you're not the one who's in love with him? I'm not the one who suggested we go see him. She flushes. I just want to see the arcade, okay? What about you, Erlen? Do you want to visit Kosei with us? Here comes the meme. Erlene doesn't bat an eye. What's a Kosei? It's a beauty product that my mom uses. Oh wait, that's another Kosei. Who? Oh wait, who? He's a guy from our class. Are you planning on walking there? Yeah, it's really close by. Then she's not gonna come. Erlene leans back into the couch. No thank you. Mina blinks. Oh, okay. Seriously? I'm exhausted. But we only went to school. Yes, exactly. She gets to her feet. I'm going to go have a little lie down. You two have fun. She turns around and heads towards the stairs, leaving her things on the floor. Um, your bag? Oh, yes. Please see to it. Take it yourself, damn it! It's not that hard! Well, I think high school has a larger bag. When I was in there, uh, college doesn't have the need to even bring a bag, e perhaps just a small one, or a sling bag. She waves us off and disappears upstairs. Mina turns to me confused. What is that about? It's like she's never had a full day of school before. Uh, jet lag. Oh, that makes sense. Anyway, let's go. We leave home and head to the arcade. As it turns out, Mina was right. It's close by. Soon we reach a large, modern building, modern looking building. The glass doors are automatic and slide open when we approach. Once inside, we stumble to a halt. Whoa! The arcade is busy. I hear the whirring of games and people laughing. Screens with colorful lights blink in the background. To the side is a glass case filled with prizes. Bigger and more impressive ones line the wall behind it. A quaint cafe on the other side of the room offers an assortment of drinks and snacks. Oh my gosh! Mina shimmers with excitement. This place is awesome! Agreed! We got to check out those games later. For now, where's Kosei? I see they are using the arts from the art uh, the splash art from Ace Academy, and by the way, if anyone wants me to do a run on Ace Academy, I can do it. Uh, but I have, I currently have two, uh, two playthroughs to work on, so perhaps I'll do this in a later, in a later period of time, in the future. Probably I'll do it. I'll probably do it. Or should I say I will do it? Well, who knows. We look around for Kosei, but can't find him anywhere. I spot a guy in uniform scrubbing the display case and I approach him. Excuse me. Hello, how may I help you? Uh, we're looking for Kosei Nakahara. He was just hired recently. Is he around? Oh, of course, one second. He walks away, disappearing into the back. We wait a few minutes before seeing Kosei. A pleasant surprise smile spreads across his face. Oh, hey! You guys came! Of course! We had to take a look at this place for ourselves. I give the arcade another glance. I'm impressed. Dude, this place is so cool. I can't believe you're actually working at it. You're actually working at, at an arcade. I know! I can't believe how lucky I am. Long gone are those dull ramen shop days. Yeah, you're really moving up in the world. Tell me about it. I love it here. 
Does that mean your first day is going well? It's going great! That's awesome, Kose! I'm happy for you! She taps her chin in thought. Although, I'm really curious to see what you do now. Can you show us? Kose's face light up, lights up. I'd love to! Hey! Cool! Then let's get going! I'm expecting him to take us to one of the games. Instead, he steers us towards the cafe. Mina blinks. Huh? Wait a second. I thought you worked with the games. He grins. Nah, the games are cool. But just wait and see. Mina and I share a glance. I guess we both assume he's worked with the game machines, but technically the cafe is part of the arcade too. We follow him into the kitchen, and Mina brightens. Oh, are you actually cooking? That's awesome! No, not yet, but this is just as good. Mina and I exchange another look. Wow, just as good as cooking? I wonder what it is. Oh, uh, that's not sarcasm. Sorry if I uh, expressed it like so. That's just us. Well, I've never. I'm I'm working on my speech. Uh, it all. I'm still working on my speech, and if I'm trying to improve. That's all I can say. We weave around cooking stations and chefs. They ignore us, too focused on their work. The different sweet and savory melts. Uh, sm uh, what? The different sweet and savory smells make my wa mouth water. Finally, Kosei comes to a halt by a large sink. It's filled with, to the brim with a mount of bubbles and colorful dishes. An elaborate dishwasher, dishwasher sits beside it. Behold! Isn't it the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your whole life? Uh... What? Are you telling me you're washing dishes? Uh... Are you talking about Mina? What? What even? I'll choose the second one just to look at who Nina. I don't think they will get. I don't think this is a more is an appropriate option. The two of them stop and blink at me. Huh? What? I chuckle. Look, look, looks like I was correct. Romance is blooming after all. It seems like your feelings might be returned, Nina. I pat her on the back. I am happy for you. Kosei looks totally confused. Feelings? What feelings? Mina shoots me a glare. Seriously? Why do you always have to make everything so weird? She turns back to Kosei. Sorry, but I'm still confused. What were you talking about before? Yep, not the, the most appropriate answer, uh, the option. These porringers, of course! What's a porringer? One of these! Kosei beams and picks up a small bowl with a handle, then dunks it into the soapy water. He, he starts scrubbing away, perfectly content. We wait for him to tell us this is all a joke and shows us what he actually does here, but he simply continues washing. So... I hesitate. What else do you do here? Kosei blinks. What do you mean? Weren't you doing dishes before? Yeah. So... Isn't this exactly the same thing? Kosei's eyes widen. This isn't the same at all. Like I said, these are porringers. Mina and I blink. What? Just look at these ceramic cups. He picks one up for emphasis. These saucers. This carafe. Carafe? Isn't that just a picture? No, they're completely different. He gathers all of the dishes and adds them into the sink. They're so cool. Way better than those dull bulls at the ramen shop! He has gone insane. My poor friend has finally lost his mind. I like this one. Mina's face looks like it's stuck in a permanent grimace. Uh, is he okay? I don't know. Maybe he's joking? Yeah, maybe. Kosei starts fluffing up the bubbles and lets out an excited laugh. Guys, do you see the quality of these bubbles? He scrubs a plate and then pulls it, pulls it out of the water, squeaky clean. Hey, pulls it out of the water, squeaky clean. 
what's up with me? Uh, All the grime is gone. That's amazing. Best soap I've ever used. Uh, so just bend over and pick the soap up. That. Uh, Mina and I stare at him, stricken. Okay, you know, he's definitely lost it. I not. We watch as Kose presses a button on the dishwasher. There's a loud dinging noise, followed by a kaleidoscope of flashing colors. He grins and puffs, and puffs out his chest. Did you guys see that? Now that's impressive. What is? The porcelain immaculation sanitizer, of course. This is some industrial grade heavy duty machinery. Mina is about to speak, but another co worker approaches Kose, carrying a pile of dishes. Hey, sorry, man. There's more. Uh, no worries. I'm happy to help out. He takes the pile from him and starts washing. The man smiles. By the way, great job so far. That makes Kose beam. Thanks, man. I'm really excited to be here. Glad to hear it. It's a pretty fun place to work. Have you checked out any of the games yet? Oh, no, not yet, but I plan to. Do you have a favorite? The two of them hit it off, chatting animatedly. The worry slowly melts from Mina's face. Her eyes soften and she smiles. You know what? Never mind. I think I finally understand why he likes it here. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. It's remarkable how, can, how he can be so upbeat doing something as simple as dishes. It's great to see him being accepted so quickly by his co-workers too. Yeah, I hope you should so. should probably leave him to his work though. Yeah. I approach Kosei, tapping him on the shoulder. Hey, we're going to get off of your hair. Congra yeah, congrats again on a new job. Okay, cool. Thanks for visiting. Mina and I leave the kitchen. I don't really want to go home yet. And I can tell Mina doesn't either. While we're here, we may as well check out some of the game, some of these games. Mina brightens at the suggestion. Good idea! After all, it would be a real shame to come all this way and not even play one game. Agreed. We run around the arcade looking for anything that catches our eye. Mina seems interested in an archery game and quickly snaps up the bowl. She motions for me to grab the second one. What was supposed to be just a quick game turn in turns into many rounds. We lose track of the time in the arcade, and when we finally decide to go home, or uh, return home, it's already dark out. The walk home is smooth and uneventful. Visiting the arcade really boosted my mood. Mina is in good spirits too. Once we return home, I spot Uncle Hajime in the living room. Oh good, you're home. Uncle Hajime, did you close early tonight? Not. We sold out earlier than anticipated, so closed up shop. Your aunt is upstairs enjoying her night off. It's good to hear business is doing well. It's more fun at the bakery when it's busy. I hope you remember that during your shift tomorrow. Mina freezes. I can tell she forgot we had work, but she smoothly recovers with a smile. Of course I will. That's my girl. Uncle Hajime laughs, affectionately ruffling Mina's hair. I look around. Where's Arilin? Oh, she's upstairs in her room. She's been holed up in there since dinner. I wonder if she's feeling well. It's just jet lag, Dad. Ah, of course. Have you two had dinner yet? I've saved some leftovers just in case. My stomach rumbles in response, and the two of us sit down to eat. After dinner, I help with the cleanup before going to my room. Cracking open my books, I get started on my homework. I stifle a yawn as I finish the last question, then get ready for bed. As I gratefully sleep into my bed, I fall into a quick and easy sleep. Well, that's quite a day there. Uh, Erlene joins class, we visit Kosa in the arcade. Uh, well, I think quite a day. Oh yeah, and Kira talked to us about about Kira talked to us about visiting the shrine later on. I don't know. Hey, is it today? I'm not sure. So, well, by today I mean 
the next episode well I probably be doing so the next day this day which the next episode I think will be just going to work at the family bakery and I don't know if we are going to meet Kira or not I forgot uh, so I'll continue this in the next episode and now is a good time to stop so thank you guys uh, thank you guys for watching Javelin Studios I'm Javelin and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Ethereum Activity. This is Javelin signing out. Have a great night.